Hi everyone, been out on my bike ride this morning and I was thinking about convolution and I was thinking I've seen lots of videos that try to give ex intuitive explanations but none of them seem to be very satisfactory so I thought I'd use my bike to give an explanation of convolution and see if this helps. So we're going to think of the suspension fork of my bike as being the system and we're riding the bike along in a steady state until we hit a rock. And at the point when we hit the rock, the suspension is going to respond to that rock. And so the suspension forks are going to compress, just like uh, it's hard to do here, but they're going to compress. And then after they go over the rock, the suspension forks will recover to their original position. So they will respond to the rock and then recover. And if the suspension forks are a linear system, then we think of the rock as an impulse on the system. The forks have responded to the impulse. That's an impulse response. And this has been uh, the effect of the rock of the impulse on the system. Now let's think about what happens if there's another rock. So here's another rock. And if our forks have responded to that system, so the compression in the forks uh, has responded to that first rock, and if it has returned to the steady state, when it hits the second rock, exactly the same thing will happen. So again, the, there will be an impulse, the forks will respond to the impulse, the forks will compress, and then they will return to the steady state. So this is when there are impulses acting on a system and where it has a chance to return to steady state. Now let's think of a situation where there are lots of rocks like this path behind me here, and they're not spaced far enough apart for the system to fully respond to the steady state. Then in that case, there will be an initial response from the first rock, and then it will recover and respond, trying to recover to the steady state, but before it gets there, the second rock will also be an impulse. And so it will respond to the second rock from a starting point, which is where it got to after the first rock after its response from the first rock, and so on. And so each rock that it subsequently hits, it will respond to that rock and then start to return to the steady state, but then another rock comes, impulses again, and then it responds to that impulse. And the accumulated effect of all of those impulses will give you an overall response to all of those impulses. So now let's think of this situation here where we've got a boardwalk, and let's think of each plank of wood as being an impulse. And they're now so close together that it's basically a smooth signal. So we can think of the boardwalk here, all these impulses, so close together that they're a smooth signal, and that signal is acting on the system. Don't forget the system is the forks of my bike. So now we've got a lot of impulses all together in a smooth signal as an input to the system. The systems being, being my forks of my bike. And so now we've got convolution. This is exactly what convolution is. You're putting a signal, a smooth signal into a system and you're seeing what comes out. And here, what comes out will be the displacement of my fork as it goes along, as the bike rides along this pathway with all the various undulations and turns of the pathway. So that is convolution. So I always like to think of it as a signal which is made up of infinitesimally close together delta functions or impulses acting on a system and each one of those produces a response and the overall response is the summation of all of those impulses. So sorry about the noise on this video. We're in the Australian bush and you can hear cicadas and even kookaburra before, I think. Um, but uh, hopefully this has given you more intuition. And I just thought I'd stop along my ride and uh, try to explain convolution in a slightly more intuitive way. If this has helped, please give the video a thumbs up. Uh, helps others to find the video. Of course, subscribe to the channel for more videos and check out the description below where you'll find a web page which has all the videos on the channel in categorized order, including videos explaining the convolution equation. So I really encourage you to look at those.